Hello everyone and welcome to quicklatex.blogspot.com's series of video tutorials. In this tutorial I am going to talk about how to use the data from Excel to use in your LaTeX document. For instance if you want to create a table based on this data that we have in this Excel sheet how can you do that? So there is no simple way of doing it that I am aware of but what you can do is that you can save this file as a CSV, comma separated delimiter, CSV. So when you save it as a CSV, so I have saved it as CSV text. So once you save it like that, in that case, you can use this file, this data. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a very simple article with the table created using this data. So that way you'll know how to use this um, data for table creation in LaTeX. So for that, what we are going to use is a package called PGF plots table. So it's a very nice package. And what it takes is that you have to set the um, styles first, the type set your table, how you want it to appear. And then we are going to use a few options. So for instance, column separator is comma because that's what in our document our input is comma separated then for each column you need to describe the type so I have three columns here software num1 and num2 and all of them are strings so if they are strings you have to specify that these are strings otherwise it will assume that they are numbers so I'll say string type then the second one is num1 slash dot style just again string type and I'll just come on num2 so and there my options end and then the file is going to be csv text dot csv that is the name of this file that's it now I need to save this file where the CSV this is stored let's see file save um, I'm not sure if I saved it at right place so all files so we have this CSV text here okay so this so it's saved at the right place. So let me just run it. Oops. What is it? See the PGF handle for explanation. Sorry, the near ABC. What happened there? Oops, here. Okay, I'll run it again. Um, did I make a mistake again? Columns, columns missing begin document oh duh begin document wow that was a miss okay so it worked so you can you use the data from excel to create a table in latex simple huh now this table is kind of naked you want it to have some style so for that we can use another package it is called book tabs use package book tabs now this package can add a few styles to your document so for that um, what I'm gonna say is let me just indent it so that you're not confused so these are our, our type setting options so for every head row that we are going to use I'm going to use a style for it and then the style is going to be so before the row before the row starts put the top row so it will put a line before the row starts similarly once a row ends I want another row but I don't want it at the top so I'll say mid row and here 
then um, let's try this and then I'll put a bottom rule okay so for head row what it does is that it will put a rule a top rule and a middle rule now if you want the rules after each record in that case what you can do is go here and say every last row dot style equals after row equals bottom row so the same thing what we did earlier the only difference is that it is for every last row and we want the rule after the row because for the first one we have we already have it before the row so let's see so whenever the row ends um okay oh so yeah so we just added it at the end at the very end so that's how you um, can create a table with kind of book tabs but this is optional if you don't want to use it you can ignore it or you can just do it and um, I guess that was every row I was trying to do no I don't know I don't remember that what was that um, so every last row is fine so let's leave it there and I'll, if you want to know how to put lines after every um, row just let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll put that okay so that is one way of doing it so this is our source file that we used so that is one way of doing it if you don't want to use it that way if you don't want to use PDF plots table there is another method of doing it and let me show you that one so let me just comment this whole thing and we'll start from the beginning. Okay, so we'll start again and the basic things, actually I can copy from there. Oh, no need. Document, I just need one line because everything else is different. For this, we are going to use another package called data tool. What data tool does is that it can load external files and then you can say that okay this is my external file dtl data tool load database so that's db and you need to specify what keys are you going to use so just name your keys it could be anything let me bring the excel sheet so you know what i'm talking about so we had the software num1 and num2 and i'm going to call it keys c1 c2 c3 so it's what you want to call it and then you need to specify specify something a name for this database how you are going to use it and then you need to specify the file name then you go begin document and and document and uh, um yeah so we have the data tool this is fine okay now let's begin the table tabular environment Oops. okay begin tabular and tabular and then um, inside that you need to specify your first line so the the heading the this one so you go software then you create the second one text bf manufacturer and the third one let's call it mal malware okay and then from your data tool for each row in your c text database what you want to do is you want to assign um, call a equals c1 so that's your first colon comma call b equals c2 that's your second column and 
call C, that's your column three. So that's how you define your call A, call B, call C. So you actually created um, variables. Now, in order to use these variables, what you need to do is just put them. Um, so call A, well, it's like call A, but it's call A, and call B, and call C. So we finish that one there. Am I missing this one? Okay, so we finished that one here, so we are good. We finished that one here. Okay, so we're fine. And then what you can do is your end tabular is fine. So this, this, this. Okay, let's see. I guess I got it right. Next. Text BF. Um, did I miss anything here? Text BF, this one, ampersand, text BF. Text BF, text BF. I hate when these mistakes are made. Okay, tabular, probably we need to specify the alignment for the rows. So we call it. Okay, yeah, that was the mistake. So here. So this is the another way of doing it. So you can use your familiar t uh, tabular environment for the table, but instead of loading or instead of using the data points that you define inside your code of PCF plot or your file, you can actually load it from an external database. And then that external database can be loaded beforehand. So that is another way of doing it. Cool. All right, so remember, if you have a question ever, just let me know. Again, our address, our, our, our web address is quicklatec.blogspot dot com so don't forget to leave a comment if you like it or if you have further questions and I'll try to um, answer it and thanks to the um, person who asked this question that how do we load a external database to create tables in LaTeX so hopefully this will come handy to few of you thank you and see you in the next tutorial